Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have Matthew 5.14. You are the light of the world, for a city on a hill cannot be hidden. Um, yeah, just trying to show the the light of the world and the light of Jesus, of course, this time of year. So working on it. Had a lot of time to do a lot of traditional little things. Um, yeah. A lot of nostalgia going on this year. Anyway, <laughs> so let's see here. All right, so I worked um, last week. I had Friday off and I went to Kuskengelmacht. And I found two things there that I am really, really proud of. A third, one was a Christmas gift, but that's a third thing. So anyway, I found this one lady has a little booth there and she calls it European Vintage. And roommate and I collect one angel. Now, it's normally a little angel ornament. <laughs> but I found this, and it's metal. And this is silver. And this is, I guess, brass overlay. I don't know. I think this is tin. And then this is just painted to be brass. Because you can see where it's scratching off of the edges. And I'm sure there was probably two of these at one point. But I just, I don't know. I was just quite taken with her. And so I bought her. It was nine dollars. And so I just like her. And she's got the tall candle. The candle didn't come with it. I put that in there and I burnt it a little bit. But anyway. Um, the other thing that I got for myself was I got a schmokamon. He's a medium. So I have two little ones and two regular size schmokamon. Um, he's a medium. And I don't have any medium. And he was just the cutest little thing. And technically, he's my first one with color. Um, I stick to browns and neutral. I do have one that has gray. Um, at the end of this video, I'll put in a uh, picture of what I have. Um, one is a gingerbread house. And it's all done in browns and whites. Um, and then I have another, what I call a small one. And he has some gray on him. And then I have my two big ones, um, and they're all tans and browns and very neutral. So I got him, and yes, I've been using him. I love him. Uh, I actually have been using all the Schmokamon so far. Um, they've each burnt at least once. So, yeah, I did that on Friday. Now, I did pick up a Christmas gift. Um, I got roommate a hand lathe pen. Uh, finding pens around this house is pretty hard. So at my meeting Wednesday, um, one of the vendors was uh, Delta Dental, our insurance, like it was our benefits meeting. And they had these pens. And so when you click it and then you go to write, well, mine, the whole thing pops apart. Roommate was not happy roommate grabbed it and was going to use it and was like are you kidding me so i got roommate a hand and i did this for rj years ago and he actually has a wooden hand tooled or hand lathed pen um they are a bit more expensive but you buy refills for them so um roommate has a job where a nice pen would come in handy so i got roommate a nice pen I looked at one that was rosewood, and I ended up going with a darker wood. Um, I want to say it's like a walnut, but yeah. Anyway, can't remember. It was it was a good wood, and it's really dark, and yeah. So anyway, I got that at Kuskengelmach too. Um, then once I got done with the market Friday, I came to the house and I started wrapping gifts. Now I remember a lot of nostalgia going on this year. I have my kids on Christmas morning. So, yes, I am tickled. Uh, I went and did what I did every other year. I used to match the wrapping paper but make it different. So this year, the themes are snowmen. Um, Tories has white snowmen with like a tan background and, and snowflakes. And he's got different hats on, like red. He's got red scarfs on all of them, and then he's got like beanie caps and this and that. And RJ's is a blue 
with almost a cartoony type snowman. And so his is a little bit on the younger side, but it's still cute. I was looking to see if I could see it from here, but you can't see his. You can just see hers. I got the tree decorated. Yay. Got the stockings put together. I got all my work um, gifts tagged, which believe it or not is a lot. So, um, then I got all the gifts wrapped, um, except for roommate's big one that RJ's bringing. So I don't know if I've told that story or not. Uh, probably two or three months ago, I found the perfect gift for roommate for Christmas and I ordered it and then I sewed, I picked up enough sewing jobs to pay for roommates Christmas gift. And then I didn't have any place to go with it. So RJ has it at his, at the farm and he's hiding it for me. And then the deal is, is it's from all of us because it was a little bit more expensive than what I would do for a Christmas gift. But it's awesome. And, um, so we all three were going to go in on it. And then of course, Tori's husband lost her job. So, and I did the sewing that covered the cost of it. So if I covered the cost, RJ's hit it all year and he's going to get it here. Tori has to unload it and get it in the house. It's heavy. You guys, it is heavy. Um, I got a fire pit, a very nice, uh, stone fire pit with a table around it and a rotisserie. So this thing is not little. It is very heavy and she's not going to be able to unload it, but <laughs> we say that's her part to do. All right. Um, let's see. I did get the tree done. I got the stockings put together. I got everything done for work. I got rid of the pumpkins in the yard. It's just what I did it yesterday on the fourth, the third of December. Oh, well, Hey, technically it's just a little past fall. Um, so I, uh, did get rid of the pumpkins, but the thing is, is I figured out why. I don't know if I told you all about the possum in the yard. And we had to go and get Mr. Possum out of the yard because he was freaking the dogs out and I didn't want anything bit. And I mean, all the dogs are up to the date on their rabies and all that. But still, anyway, there was a possum and we have lived here for years now and never had a possum in the yard. Well, come to find out, Mr. Possum in the yard is after my pumpkins. He ate a hole in the backside of one, and it started to rot. I was like, I don't know why that one's rotten. Then I look, and the top of the other one is starting to rot, and I'm like, what? So, yeah, he was digging in them. So, I took them. I scooped them into a bucket because they were starting to rot because he ate holes in them. And there was one that hadn't. But I took them and put them out by the behind the old barn. So hopefully Mr. Possum will find them there. I hope. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So Mr. Possum is after the pumpkins. Uh, I removed the pumpkins and put up Christmas ornament, Christmas decorations. And I just did, I did my Snoopy scene. And then um, I put out my weenie dog my little lights, the snow on the house, and then I run a strand of lights along the fence. That's it. And I think it's cute. Oh, and I put out my gingerbread men. That's it. I didn't go crazy. I didn't put up any of the light up Santas or the light up angel or, you know, the snowman. Um, I'm okay with that. Yeah, less is more, I guess, this year. But, um, I uh, do think that it's great to have things for people to see in the sunlight as also in the nightlight. So the Snoopy scene, of course, does not have any lights around it, and neither does the gingerbread man. Uh, but then, of course, you got the lights around the yard and the weenie dog and the snowflakes come down. So I know, kind of chintzy, but I'm getting older, and it's not like I got kids at home. So got that done, got the pumpkins hauled off. Let's see, what else? Tree done, gift wrapped, work. Ugh. Sorry, I'm just yawning today. My ears are popping. Um, 
think that is all that I have gotten done for Christmas. Oh, I did make some peanut butter cookie dough. I'm starting to make one cookie dough at a time and make, you know, a dozen of them and then have it in the fridge for us to cook. Uh, then let's get to it. Um, I was working on these little angels and this is the finished product. Now I haven't figured out the wings because if you do this, they do stand up and I may have to just kind of position them in the tree to kind of lay back. But I got my angel done and I even took and put little eyes on the thing. So I've got my circle and then my half circle is the wing. And I used a little bit of hot glue in the bead. I pulled this, the hanger to the back and did hot glue. Um, but I have these right here. I have five of these already done. Uh, I've, I've decided I'm going to make six for the tree. I don't know why, but I've got the main bodies done and then I have one more row to go on these wings and then literally all you do is I slide this I use a center hole I don't know if y'all can see that use the center hole and slide it here let's see here there we go. And slide it over the back. And then I tie off my two ends together because I have an end here from the wings. And I have one from, the, and that's what attaches there. And then whenever I put the bead on, these pull up in the bead and then that hot glue hides them. Okay. This, I used the center, I used, uh, started them with the magic circle, and then I used this to sew over this and this, and then weave it in. So, that's why this is kind of a long tail, is so that I literally can sew those two things in, and then put the bead on, and I'll have one, um, and to weave in on the end of, edge of this. The rest of it I use for sewing and as hidden in the bead. So, yeah. They go together pretty easy. And so I'm just going to make all the half circles. And I'm just kind of doing it in stages. And I'm just using, oh, I don't know, what is this? A little, I can't read it. I have no idea what that is. I can see it, but I can't read it. But I don't know. It's. I have no idea. There you go. Whatever that says. And see, it's not going to come in clear. Uh, let's see here. I have. Anyway. If y'all can make that out, there's the hook. Whatever. Um. It's because it's so small and it's written in the little thing. So, yeah, the smaller the hook, the smaller the identification stuff on it. So, yeah, it's that one. And then I used this uh, cotton that I got from Hobby Lobby that's got a little bit of glitter in it. So, yeah, I got that. Um, other than that, I have made some progress on this one. Like I said, this, this week I'm off and it's so far all about Christmas and getting ready for the holidays and the coming of Christ and so it is getting a little longer okay there's my sleeve there's this sleeve um it just keeps getting longer so uh I also when it gets to the last three rows I have to decrease so that's the only instructions left is the last three rows are decreased and this is just um, a double stitch holding two 
pieces of yarn and it's going to be, it actually is really warm. When I sit and crochet it, it's my mindless knit and it makes my legs really warm. So I'm good with that. And this yarn is super soft. I, I'm telling you, it, I don't know why, but it just feels good on my hands. So I have been kind of working on this a little bit. Uh, I had the spinning wheel down here for a little bit and was working on that yarn. But as we all know, Worm loves wool and he does not always leave my stuff alone. So I had to take it back up to the other thing and then I am getting there. It, it's easier for me to work on when it's down here. But the problem is, is the dog gets into it. So it is what it is, but yeah. <laughs> and it'll get done. I just was hoping to get it off the wheel because I've got um, another one, that, another fiber that I want to do. Uh, I went to Fiber Christmas and I found one that is supposed to be Shetland. And so I, uh, yeah went to there. I, I really want to start that. Wednesday is the spin-in, but I have to work, so I'm not sure if I'm going to drive over there. Uh, I was going to call and see if anybody else is going to be over there, but we'll see. I, I don't know who's going or any of that stuff. I just, there is one lady that uh, seems to be in tight with that. Um, what do you call it? Yarn shop. She teaches a lot of classes there and all that. So spinning, of course, being one. And then some weaving. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm basically going to call her and say, hey, who, who's going? Is anybody going? I'm going to check Facebook because with it being the holidays, they only do it the first Wednesday of the month for spinning and so if I'm going to use this to get my spinning done and then I've got I've got one consignment that is for my old boss and I never discussed a price with her and so I am hesitant to do it but I really need to do it because I told her I would and that's my word and you know it is what it is it, it's going to be hours worth of work to wash the wool uh, I have to card everything because she had bunny fur she wanted to put in there and all kinds of stuff so I'm gonna do that and then I think I'm gonna I don't know. I think I'm going to do it all in the round. I mean, in the grease. Um, and then go from there. Because there's not a whole lot of wool. And I don't know how big it's going to be. And then I'm going to make a log style cabin um, pattern. Type pattern, if that makes sense. Worm has gotten into my yarn again. And I'm going to have to stop after this row because he has made a mess of it. And one I, one of the strands of yarn I have already had to ball. And the other one, he just, it'll be laying on the couch and he jumps up here and jumps in the middle of it. And then grabs it with his mouth and, you know, makes a mess of it. But it ends up coming out like this instead of, and it's a center pull. But, yeah, so there's one that Worm got a hold of, and this one I've already had to um, do, so I will probably end up um, finding the end of this one and winding it up, too, because, yeah, Worm loves yarn, and I have no idea why. He's never been allowed to play with it. He's never been into it you know but 
if you give him the chance, that dog is all over this stuff. So, yeah. But anyway, that's as far as I've gotten on that one. I do have that consignment that I'm thinking I'm going to get it out of here in the next couple of months. And that's why I wanted to go to that spin-in to get um, that yarn that I talked about last week off of my wheel. It's just a domestic yarn. I want to get that off my wheel. And then, of course, I've got that one that I got at Fiber Christmas that I was thinking I'd do. But I really, really, really need to do this consignment regardless of what I think of the person that asked me to consign it you know um she's not a very good boss but you know it is what it is that's that's my thing it is what it is she's not a very good boss honestly I don't know that she'll ever even pay me it would be great if she did but but I don't know. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. But I don't know. And she's I don't know. I think that if she'd have stuck up for me at work and kind of said, Hey, we don't do that or, you know, we don't belittle people and talk to people like that and treat them that way, um, it would have been different. But that didn't happen. And I don't know. I I just was kind of let down by her, and so it was a it was a really toxic environment that she was in, or she is in. She still works there. I don't. And then of course I went to work for the bank, and I'm loving it pretty much. You know, the rest of the time. So, <laughs> but I still need to. I don't know. I am very confused because I could just return the wool to her and tell her to find somebody else. Um, I doubt if anybody else would do it for her because the wool is not great wool. Um, the sheep are hair wool, hair sheep and wool sheep crosses. So the wool itself is not very good, but it still can be spun. I mean, and she wants it as a prize heirloom piece. And I'm like, okay, you know, I have those. I have my grandma's poncho that if you followed us for very long, you know that RJ's, RJ grew the wool and all of that. And then me, Granny, and my aunt all worked on it to make the poncho. And I still have that piece. And I will forever have that piece. You know, that's till I pass away, I guess. <laughs> but, and I understand that. Anyway, so that's my dilemma on that one. I think I'm going to go to the spin in, depending on who's there. I have my black bag, my black fabric and I'm going to line this bag today. Uh, I've got the pieces kind of cut out. I just have to pin them together. That's what it's doing out here. Um, but I probably will end up doing this first. I'm going to go and have lunch with a girlfriend and then we'll go from there. But I do have to go back to work Wednesday. Um, shampooing the carpets is also on the list. Um, but other than that, I really don't have much to get done today and tomorrow. Just little things hit and miss. So, uh, I'm going to figure out what to do with that fleece. And it's time for me to either put up or shut up or give it back or whatever. So, I don't know. All right. I'm off of here, you guys. It is the first week of Advent. No, actually, as of today, it's the second week of Advent. You guys have a great day and a great Advent season and a great week. And remember that you are the light of the world. Bye.